Today, we're going to talk about encapsulation and why it's so important to getting your next programming job. Encapsulation is a major part of object-oriented programming. Let me show you why it's so important. So let's say we work for a company that writes software for different kinds of elevators. And we created our public class elevator, and we created a public field called current floor. That way, we can display the current floor. And we have an increment floor method, and we have a decrement floor method. Now, we could have used properties when developing this, but we decided to go with the public field because it's mostly the same thing, right? And it saves us a little bit of programming time. Well, to show you why this is a bad idea, let me introduce you to my project manager, Circleback Jack. Hey, bro, it's me, your project manager, Circleback Jack. We just got a contract with Multivator, and all their floors are in decimals. So we need you to change the code base to use decimals, but our current customers still have to use integers. Okay, so the new customers have to use decimals, but the old customers still have to use integers. Well, I guess... Bro, are you done yet? I'm... I'll be done. Okay, I'll circle back in two hours. Ah, shoot. All my customers, they... they use int current floor. I'm gonna have to create a... A decimal current floor, and I, I guess I should use Hungarian notation, and and I guess for increment floor, then I gotta do this, and I guess for for decrement floor, I gotta add to the decimal, and oh shoot, I can't I can't forget this because I'm not a technical person, but why ain't you done yet? I'm done, Jack. Okay, I'll circle back in two hours. Jack, you, there's got to be a better way to do this. Well, there is, and it's called encapsulation. Encapsulation is the concept of hiding internal state and behavior. It reduces dependencies, helps prevent accidental data corruption, and helps prevent changes from breaking your code. So how could we do this better? Well, in the old way of doing things, we created this public field, and our customers kind of got married to this public field. So if we needed to change something here, we we're going to have to go through a lot of contortions. So let's encapsulate this from the start. So here's the better elevator. Now I'm going to make this private. Then I'm going to add in a property that can pass back current floor. Now properties are really useful because properties are actually methods, special methods with get and set accessors. And I can do all sorts of stuff inside this property to do things before I pass information back to the customer. So I'm going to use a power of encapsulation to change that field to a decimal and the customer is never going to know. I'm going to change current floor to decimal. Now, Visual Studio is going to yell at me because this property is expecting an integer and I'm returning a decimal. So let's fix that. Good. Now, Visual Studio stopped yelling at me. I'm converting this to an integer and passing it back. So now I just have to satisfy Multivator's conditions of returning decimals and getting decimals. And I think we're done. Our current customers can use current floor and they're none the wiser. Their information is coming from a decimal. And our new customer, Multivator, they can use decimal. Encapsulation is so important because it gives you more control and fewer dependencies. The fewer dependencies, the easier it's going to be to maintain because sooner or later, your project manager, bro, are you done yet? Is gonna ask you to make a change. So if you're ever asked an interview question about encapsulation, remember the mnemonic, hi Sabo, for hides the internal state and behavior of an object. Good luck on your next interview.